हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द मैथ्स क्लास फॉर स्टैंडर्ड फाइव एंड दिस क्लास इज गाइडेड बाय मीनाज इनामदार ओके यू आर वेलकमिंग टू द फिफ्थ स्टैंडर्ड मैथ्स क्लास सो स्टूडेंट्स वी आर स्टडिंग द सेकंड चैप्टर दैट इज नंबर वर्क in this lesson we are studying the decimal system numbers in previous class we had solved the problem set 2 and you had completed that also in today's class we will study the further topic by using the story let us see one story of a boy his name as rohan rohan has a family member mother father and himself with his pet dog after a long walk rohan is went to the school because there is a lockdown there was a lockdown that's why he was unable to go for the school after the school reopen he is enjoying with his friends because his school has started now and they are back to the school now like he you also waiting for the school reopen yes or no okay let discuss about his so okay they are talking about some they are talking about some their relevant situations okay there are see here this is rohan meena and moni they are talking and they are enjoying to going uh, enjoying to for going to the school so rohan share his uh, rohan share his one thing with the students he told that hey guys wait i want to share one thing with you so others are very excited to know what he want to say he said that we brought a new car yesterday we brought a new car yesterday so they are very happy mona and meena are happy and they said arriva congratulations to you but from them one of the girl asked to the rohan that rohan did you know the amount of the car he said yes i know but i can't able to read that amount i don't know so this girl was started to laughing on him and rohan was upset then they went to the school so teacher said good morning children how was your vacation how was your and welcome to the class after the long back every teacher, every students are wishing to the teacher from that meena said teacher while coming to that uh, school we were discussing about our vacation and rohan told that he brought a new car but he is unable to calculate the price and amount of that car so can you tell me so teacher asked to the rohan rohan what happened so rohan said that he described the situation he said that ma'am yesterday went to the showroom of the car and we were searching to the buy a new car and then finally we brought a 
red color new car but when i asked to the my father what is the price of this car then my father told me 6 lakhs he told me that the price of that car is 6 lakh rupees but when i was trying to write this 6 lakh amount i was unable to write this 6 lakh and i was searching this amount in our post previous class textbook in four standards textbook but there was no amount for lakhs i was searching how to write this 6 lakh rupees in numbers but i was very nervous because i was unable to write this amount in numbers teacher can you please tell me how to write this number so teacher said don't worry it okay this is your problem so let us see how to write 6 lakh this is called the 6 digit numbers so let us see how we'll make the numbers Okay. See, when we are adding one, the smallest one-digit number, we will get the. Sorry, when we are adding one to the biggest one-digit number, we will get the smallest two-digit number. That means nine is the biggest one-digit number, and ten is the smallest two-digit number. Similarly, when we add one. to the biggest two digit number we will get the smallest three digit number similarly when we add one to the biggest three digit number we will get the smallest four digit number hence again when we add one to the biggest four digit number we will get the smallest five digit number till here you had studied in your previous class but similarly when we add one to the biggest five digit number that is 99999 this is the biggest five digit number when we add one to it it becomes six digit number and this is the smallest six digit number and we called it as 1 lakh this six digit numbers are known as lakh and this smallest six digit number is 1 lakh the smallest six digit number is 1 lakh remember this thing okay now student come and we see how to read six digit numbers let us see let us see the first number see student whenever there is only single digit we read it as unit or whatever the number as we will read it as as it is suppose there is a 5 on unit place so we will read it as 5 there is a 0 on tenth place so we are not reading 0 for any places you will leave it okay 7 is on 100 place again there is a 5 it is on thousands place 3 is on 10000 place these are the five digit numbers when this two comes this becomes six digit number and we will read it as 2 lakh so the whole number we will read it as 2 lakh 35705 let us check the spelling see how to write this number in words so we have to write it as 2 lakh 35705 so did you understand student so let us see more examples see this number unit 
hundred, thousand, ten thousand, lakh. Here eight is on the sixth place from right side. That's why we will read this eight as a lakh. But there is no number for ten thousand and thousand. So we will not read thousand here. Directly we will move on hundred place. So how we will read it as? We will read it as eight lakh three hundred and sixty three. See ya. We are writing in spelling eight lakh three hundred and sixty three. Okay. We are not writing this thousand in spelling, but we have to put here zero is necessary because if we are not putting zero here, then this becomes eight as a thousand, and we will read it as eight thousand three hundred and sixty-three. Therefore, it is very necessary to write zero on thousand and ten thousand. Then only it becomes eight lakh three hundred and sixty-three. Okay, students. Now move on. Another example. See here. Another example is there is no number on ten thousands place. There is three on lakh. So we'll start on three lakh. Three lakh seven thousand eight hundred ninety nine. See here. Three lakh seven thousand eight hundred and Ninety-nine. Okay, students. So our next number is here nine zero 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 four nine. Unit place is nine. Tenth place is four. There is no number on hundred place, so we'll not read hundred. Again, thousand and ten thousand is zero. That's why we'll not read thousand and ten thousand. But there is a number on lakh, so on lakh plus there is a nine. So we'll read it as nine lakh. There is no hundred, no thousand, so we'll move directly on forty-nine. I will read it as nine lakh. Come to the direct forty-nine. That means nine lakh and forty-nine. See here, the spelling is nine lakh forty. Nine. Okay, students. Okay. Now we will see one more example. Here, only thousand places not here. So th on in th uh, on thousands place there is a zero. So we will read only thirty thousand and start from five lakh. So see how to read five lakh thirty thousand seven hundred and. Thirty-five. Okay. Yes. So now Rohan is happy because he is able to read and write the six-digit numbers. Yes or no, students? You are also able to read and write the six-digit number. Yes or no? Okay. So now it's a homework time. So take the homework. Today's homework is. You have to write five numbers which are six-digit numbers. Okay, that means you have to write five six-digit numbers by your own. That means you have to make take uh, digits from ten digits zero to nine. Take any digits and write six-digit numbers and send me on my number. Okay. Okay, students. Rohan is saying that. I am able to read and write the numbers. Thank you and bye bye.